Brilliant. Great to see you guys. Um, Thank you. Laura has a look at the weather across the UK and Ireland and some lovely little hedgehogs, particularly little ones earlier, Laura. A tiny one earlier and this is a big one now. This one is over 800 grams and they've been inundated here at Vale Wildlife Hospital with hedgehogs that are not big enough ready for hibernation but this one nearly is. He's been fed and nursed back to health. He could go out if it wasn't so cold so it's now time for the all-important forecast of Martin. I'll let you pop him away to keep him warm. <laughs> Love your home, whatever the weather. With Good Morning Britain National Weather, sponsored by CheckerTrade.com. CheckerTrade, CheckerTrade.com. So I think for hedgehogs outside at the moment, they need for at least a week of largely frost-free weather, and they may well get that next week. But for tonight, it was a bitterly cold one yet again, particularly in the south, milder further north, with a lot more cloud rolling in. But first thing this morning, we're watching out for fog in the southwest. Now, overnight temperatures in the south of England dropped as low as minus 7, minus 8 degrees, along with the freezing fog. It's actually a very slippery and dangerous journey to work this morning. A touch of frost through northern areas, but here a lot more cloud. Now, through the day, Scotland, Northern Ireland, much of England and Wales stays fairly cloudy. The south has the best of the sunshine once that dense freezing fog in the southwest clears. Largely dry, but some light rain across the far northwest with highs of around about 10 degrees. Largely frost free tonight, particularly for central and northern areas with more cloud. But it does mean a pretty grey day tomorrow. For the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com forward slash weather.